I wake up around 6.40 and it's still dark outside. I play with the little animals since I'm at my parents' home this week. Also, hydration is important. I go for a quick walk because light exposure is also important. Then I get coffee. It's vital. I work as a data scientist at Drizzly, which is a startup under Uber. I work from home full time, so the first thing I do is start planning my tasks on Notion. Planning for me is so vital in the morning. It holds me accountable and it gives me a checklist so that I can finish my day when the work is done, regardless of what time it is. Right now I'm waiting for something to run on Databricks and this is like going through several different progressions and adding everything in a loop. So this is gonna take me a while. So I'm just gonna look at the stock market. That's It's not doing well. One of my stocks lost like 18% today. It's okay, I'm gonna hodl it. But I'm also catching up on slaps and just working on everything else that is less focus work, more just like catching up with everything work while my Databricks notebook runs. You gotta love error messages after it runs for like nine minutes. So you know, you're gonna have to fix it and then run it again for nine more minutes. Hello, so this is a second before my first meeting of the day, which is Scrum. So all of us get together, we talk about what we're doing for the day, super quick. Nice to see everyone's face in the beginning of the day. Let's get to it. I have about four hours of meetings today. We can do it and also be productive and get real data science done. Okay, so it is around 11.27 and I got a decent amount of work done actually already because most of my meetings are the next like four to five hours of the day. So I wanted to just get an early start from 8 a.m., get some work done. I have my meeting with my manager right now and it's half an hour of us really just going through projects every once in a while, every couple of weeks, like performance style critiques and feedback. And honestly, like everyone is so nice. No one has ever given me bad feedback ever. They only urge me to do better when it comes to presenting more of my findings, really taking on more of a leadership role since I am the only data scientist on my team and we mostly only have senior data scientists and managers on the team. So they really want me to get a lot of design experience with creating the whole ML framework end to end, which is exactly what I'm working on right now. So that's probably just what we're gonna talk about my projects. But yeah, I will see you after that meeting. I have another meeting after that too because I'm presenting something on a previous project tomorrow. So I'll see you after the meetings for lunch. Just finished a super cool meeting with my manager. The data I'm working on is essentially gonna be productized and sold to very large brands. So we have a good game plan now, like after looking at the data, the output, the results, and the process that went into the product. So super cool. I love data science. That's so cool. Like I, I feel like I get to make such a big impact being at a startup that actually has such great leadership. So yeah, very cool stuff. In the spirit of talking about the fact that I love being a data scientist, let's take a quick second to thank our sponsor, Data Camp. This is the first sponsor on my channel ever and I'm so excited that it's Data Camp because it's such a useful resource for anyone who wants to either A, learn any data science skills from scratch, B, brush up on your data science skills, or C, just explore what's out there because data is essentially the heart of everything that we do, whether you're a consultant, a data scientist, a software engineer, and so on. I'm actually working on a forecasting model at work, so I'm using DataCam to just brush up on my skills and relearn the basics in their time series for Python course. What's really cool about Data Camp is that they have a free assessment right when you start to let you know where you are, assess your skills, and recommend which courses you could potentially benefit from on Data Camp. There are over 350 different tutorials that you could go through. It's awesome because Data Camp is so accessible to everyone and you really don't need a degree to become a data scientist. You need to use the right skills and you could learn all of those skills. So if you are interested in Data Camp, definitely check out my personalized link below where you can get the first chapter of any data DataCamp tutorial for free. And thanks so much DataCamp for sponsoring. Back to the video. It is treat time in the two minute break I have. Gotta give the little boy treats. So this is what I'm gonna be eating for lunch and literally I'm gonna eat so much more after this, but you know, quick break. 
I'm gonna set my slack as away for lunch and I will eat my food and I will be watching some Netflix. So I just had a very relaxing lunch where I basically binge watched Supernatural for like 45 minutes. Now I have some planning I wanna get done for the project after having talked to so many people about it because we need to get it to next steps as fast as possible. And I have another meeting about the presentation I have to do tomorrow for one of my old projects. So yeah, that's it for the rest of the day. Enjoy the time lapse. Guys, I found the most profound diary entry of my life. It's my brother's when he was young. Okay, let me let me show it to you. July 21st, 2013. It was a beautiful Sunday morning. I talked to my sister. So I'm basically done with work and my dad just got back from India. So me and my brother just like unboxed a lot of things. It's 5.30, so I'm probably gonna go on a run or I'm gonna go to Orange Theory. I haven't decided yet. If you haven't smashed the like button or subscribed, are you a real data scientist? Because you know it helps with search, right? Thank you. I ended up driving to Orange Theory literally on zero gallons, but I have a Toyota Prius, so I made it and then I made it back. So I just got back from the Orange Theory, it was great. It was a 7 to 8 p.m. class, so now I'm probably just gonna sign off for this vlog. It was great, I'm gonna go make oatmeal now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You gotta smash the like button. See ya.